let's jump straight in and let's play uh, Horizon Forbidden West. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Like, this game legitimately looks so, so, so beautiful. And uh, everything I hear, this is like the best looking game on the PlayStation 5, which is saying something. So yeah, I'm very excited. Oh, we go straight in like we did with, with Zero Dawn, straight into a cutscene, maybe. Previously on Horizon Zero Dawn. Through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. <laughs> through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. Except that one. <laughs> and with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Damn, they're skipping over a lot. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin and with a little help from me she prevailed in a great battle at the city of meridian becoming a champion for all humankind but as useful as she has been now i must leave her behind <laughs> for as she strives to put right what hindi sundered i have made a new do I need to make the audio slightly louder, guys, on the game? Let me know if the dialogue is quite quiet. Both destruction and opportunity. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Haptic feel. Haptic feel. Oh, I can feel it, like, moving. Oh, that's weird. Ah, uh, possibly Dante. Actually, that's a good point. It might have been higher when you were recording. Yeah. Dante and uh, Fish from Crack on Gaming have just recorded a review of the new Poke Pokemon uh, Legends Arceus. So that'll be coming. Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, they'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. It's so gorgeous. And only I can fix it. Oh my god. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then, extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. <laughs> A backup of Gaia, the AI you designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead, it comes to nothing. God, they really have up, le up the level on on graphics, like the cut the. Every night, I have the same dream. Facial is amazing. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. 
And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me. Even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. Slash clone. And for a moment, I feel whole. Okay, it's already making me cry. Why is it already making me cry? Seriously. I never lost. It's not even started yet. What are you doing to me? Don't be playing no freaking like Last of Us now on me. I'm always left alone. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. <laughs> My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Oh, Val! Val? <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, Anointed of the North. She don't like that you name. Know, I hate being called that stuff. <laughs> well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So, what are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the blight. Both, actually, but, um... I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help Lenora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. You're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. Dude, he's gonna blow his mind. A focus. Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. He gonna flip. He's a Nora. Uh, you see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. I'm loving it already. <laughs> oh, dude. Shall we? Yes, let's. We shall. I'm so looking forward to this game. All right, I got a couple of scrapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. Oh my god, can you imagine Aloy doing a tiny Tina? I've got no health. Why have I got These no health? Don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. Alright, let's heal. Oh. Bitter? Yeah, well, at least they make you feel better. Alright, we should keep going. Just gonna get some more 
Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. I'm already on it, dude. Yeah, good idea. Step ahead of you. Right, so where are we going? Are we climbing? Oh, okay, that's a scan. The ground stained red. The blight must be infecting the soil. <coughs> this stuff spreads fast. Six months ago, the land was fine. Now it's everywhere. Down. Feel free to jump in, jump out whenever you want. The backup? Or check it out later. Um, it's an AI. It's, um... It's hard to explain. Think of it like... a set of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. <laughs> yeah, it is. <coughs> oh, right, so I can't walk through the blight. That's a bad... It's hard to breathe around this stuff. Bad thing. Oh yeah. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. Uh yeah, I need to get me some um, wood. I need some wood. Looks like they left a carcass behind. Yeah, I really need some wood. I need to be able to craft some arrows. Also, where did all my really really cool like um like my bow and <laughs> everything I have in the first one? A lot of arrows in that machine. Better take a closer look. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. Yeah, we had. There might be trouble up ahead. There's some ridgewood by the stream. <laughs> Just can. All right. Now to craft some arrows. done me too arrows ready <laughs> where are my fire Can arrows i'm going against glint hawks but i can't reach it from here nothing a well-placed arrow can't knock free what? i have to target the lock dude that's new after you <gasps> what was this place? god it's beautiful i don't know the transmission the uh message i found didn't say only that a backup might be here we need to find a way that in poor fox so um what happened after i left meridian well there was a fuss when people realized you were gone <laughs> but then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important you were right about that down this way I'm just taking everything, guys. I learnt the hat. Ooh, stealth segment. Get to the grass. Never seen one of those before. Me neither. Oh, that's so cute. He's like a little. Have it on alert. Like a little ferret. You want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Hold it. Right. Okay. That's different. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. Dude. Oh, that's so different. That is awesome. It's, I. it's a weak spot. Right. That is amazing. Its back is detachable. Oh my god, that's awesome. Okay. Right. Concentrate. Good. Oh, that was a bad shot. Got the eye. Oh dear, here we go. Got him. Bing bing. Oh. One's coming. Shit, where? How do I how do I crouch? Ah. Val, get into cover. Dude, get into cover. Don't know if he saw us. Okay, get, okay, dude, you're not in the grass. <laughs> you're so not in the grass. Oh, he's scanning. Oh, oh, now you're in the grass. Yeah, thanks. Oh dear. 
Right, let's get... Let's get that here. How do I throw it like that? Over here, little duty. Do I hope I have got a stealth takedown. I really do. Yes, I have. There we go. Through Val, but... <laughs> How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. <laughs> like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Get so your Pokeball ready. Fuss over me leaving. What have I been to? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. You said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. Found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extras. Okay. God, look at this. It's so pretty. Tap. Right, sprint. Okay. <laughs> Val can run quicker. Welcome to the Far Zenith launch facility. Far Zenith? I, I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but... Why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them? Please hold for identity scan. <laughs> Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you. Dr. So. Oh, they didn't like Elizabeth. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. You know. <laughs> well, let's find a way in. Yep. Oh, dude. Oh. Come on, Val. Don't get in my way now. Please hold for identity scan. Should be able to pry this open. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Jesus, look at that lighting. Oh, hell yeah. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? So we're going to have human enemies then. Ugh. What's that stench? Entire camp. I doubt. Osaram. They must have come here to Del for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Oh, awesome. Crashed right through the camp. And then through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. I'm on the rubble. Oh, this rubble. Okay. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. Yes. I think I got some. That's a good point, Tiggs. I guess that's how they're explaining it. She's got more experience with it, maybe. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. New weapon? This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. Our focus is multi-purpose, y'all. <laughs> My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Okay. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. A lot of supplies here. I guess they part of a machine a could help fix the gears. Ooh, charge, Melee. <laughs> Haley leveled up, y'all. Haley leveled up. She couldn't do that in the first game. <laughs> Dude, that was kind of cool. That was very Monster Hunter.
Machine cable. Stronger than rope. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Oh, there's blur on. I'm going to take that off. Something better. There's blur on here. Workbench. See it blur? You see that blur? I'm going to take that off. Okay, right. Pull caster. An improved version of a Delver's prototype tool that can latch onto and pull objects. Also enables grappling to specific points. This looks fun. That's it then. There. Uh, pull caster. <laughs> now to test it on the debris. Made that name up. Allows you to manipulate objects in the environment. Okay. Right, so how do I use it? Got ya, got ya. Okay, I guess that. Right, we're hooking on there. So that's kind of nice. It lets you use it a lot quicker in combat because you're not having to switch to it. That's very nice. That worked better than I thought. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. Huh. What's this thing for? Well, the pulse didn't turn up much. I better scan. Oh. Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, oh. and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Is this where she's going to learn about the ship that goes into space that left? Because obviously there were two projects Wonder running. There was Auditorium. Zero Dawn, which was about sort of um, like saving humanity and kind of terraforming the Earth afterwards. But there was another one, which was where, which was, um, where basically the idea was to, to leave the planet and go and explore for another colonizing world. Um, and uh, it went missing. And I'm anticipating that they didn't die like they're gonna come back that's what i think is gonna happen oh yeah this is definite i should activate my focus scan the area oh, i see oh, <laughs> okay I might be able to get up there yep oh, i see read the instructions kate that would help <laughs> i don't read i never read instructions in games <laughs> wow like ever that works that pull caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. You jelly. <laughs> I can even hear it in my controller. That's so cool. Tap. Okay. Sprint and tap. Whoa. Okay. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. Right. There you go, Varl. Thanks. Search the ancient ruins for a Gaia backup. Oh, dude, is this what we're doing? This is our mission to uh, reinstate Gaia? That's cool. Humans, Homo sapiens, us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. Out of space. That's why we're proud Odyssey. to have resurrected the Odyssey. Odyssey. When our government's abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. <laughs> I love Val's reaction there. 
dude. The serious system. There, we'll create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chinbumbe, the true form of immortality is... Data corrupt. <laughs> Playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong. We don't know what, though. Up. Do we know it blew up? I don't think we know it blew up, Aloy. It just disappeared. They didn't say it blew up. You're making an assumption there. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For their colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah. Reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? Mm -hmm. We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. They just didn't know how... yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. <laughs> that Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There. The backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. I'm kind of enjoying this, like, reaction of Val to everything going on as well. Like, you didn't have that in the first one. It was just Aloy's reaction. And it was Aloy's story, so that... that I still can't believe the old ones could fly. ...made sense, but I quite like this. They were this. capable of a lot of things. For good and bad. Sure seems like it. I wonder what it's like up there. Oh. Among the stars. 